ancient Greek society, revenge was a powerful driving force behind the actions of both gods and mortals alike, as they saw it as a form of justice for any wrongdoings committed against them. The Volute Crater of Achilles, attributed to the Berlin painter, is a large vessel named for its unique spiral scroll-like handles. This style of Greek-based painting, otherwise known as red figure painting, was invented in Athens around 520 BC and allowed for greater detail to be shown in the imagery. Depicted on this crater is the fight between Achilles and Hector during the Trojan War after Hector killed Patroclus, Achilles' friend and possible lover. You can see Hector bleeding from wounds in his chest and thigh as he falls backwards due to Achilles overpowering him. Ultimately, Achilles defeats Hector as revenge for the murder of Patroclus. Dating back to 490 to 460 BC, Balut craters were used by respected ancient Greek men at symposiums to hold wine in the center of the room. According to the Department of Greek and Roman Art at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Greek symposium was a male aristocratic activity, a tightly choreographed social gathering where men drank together, conversed, and enjoyed themselves in a convivial atmosphere. Currently, this Balut crater is on display at the British Museum. However, it was originally created in Attica, Greece, and later found in Seri, Italy. In Greek society, people wouldn't forget those who wronged them, see with Achilles and Hector, and set out to rectify the situation on their own terms. Revenge was very common in ancient Greece, for mortals and gods alike, because they felt that retaliation was the only way to restore their honor if they had been humiliated, harmed, or betrayed. Achilles embodies this type of eye-for-eye eye ideology with his brutal attack against Hector detailed on the crater. This depiction indicates that revenge was an incredibly powerful motive and that mortals were influenced by it just as much as gods and goddesses. Achilles wanted nothing more than to avenge Patroclus' death and felt the only way to quell his anger was through his revenge against Hector. In ancient Greece, people took the punishment of others into their own hands because it was because they felt it was their right to bend themselves no matter the outcome.